While it's clear there are many reasons to be skeptical of digital currencies, many traditional investors have been won over the new asset class. The blockchain space is frequently described as a transformative industry with the potential to disrupt the world in the same way that the internet did in the 1990s. So today we're going to be talking about the main question and topic Is it too late to invest in Bitcoin or why should you invest in Bitcoin right now? So guys, stay with me, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Once again, thank you guys for joining my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and comment this video. Also, don't forget about my free giveaway where I'm giving away one Solana and one Axie Infinity to one random person who will subscribe to my channel and comment my another video I will attach up here or down below in the description. So let's come back to our topic. The concept of digital money that you use online is not that complicated in itself. After all, most of us will be familiar with transferring money from one online bank to another. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are digital assets that operate like normal currency but with notable differences. So what are cryptocurrencies and what makes them unique? Cryptocurrencies are decentralized meaning they are not regulated by a financial authority like a government or central banks. Common reason to invest in cryptocurrency is the desire of reliable long-term store of value. Unlike fiat money, most cryptocurrencies have a limited supply capable by a mathematical algorithms. This makes it impossible for any political body or government agency to dilute their value through inflation. Bitcoin investors believe the currency will gain value over the long term because supply is fixed unlike the supplies of fiat currencies as we know already. Over 90% of the total 21 million Bitcoins that will be ever available have been mined within 12 years after creating the cryptocurrency. So what makes Bitcoin unique and why Bitcoin will make you millions in the future? The answer is simple. The maximum number of Bitcoin that can be issued mined is 21 million. New Bitcoins are added to the Bitcoin supply approximately every 10 minutes, which is the average amount of time that it will make to create a new block of Bitcoin. The number of Bitcoins mined per block is reduced by 50% after every 210,000 blocks or about one every four hours. Around 90 million Bitcoins have been mined leaving only 2 million to be mined in the future. Experts predict that the remaining bitcoins will be mined by 2140. So what will be the effect on cryptocurrency as a bitcoin? The scarcity will probably lead to more buying in Bitcoin. As the former fear of missing out sets in, there could be a rush to buy the rare asset. And the people holding Bitcoins will be in a great position to sell. So this is why you should buy Bitcoin right now. Eventually, it doesn't matter with what price you will buy Bitcoin, when Bitcoin will go and roll because of fixed supply. Yes, a lot of people made money when they bought Bitcoin in an early stage such as 2011-2012. Even people who bought Bitcoin during 2017 became a millionaire by 2020. So why do you think that if you buy Bitcoin by the price right now in 2022, you can't make millions by 2024? If we're talking about long term, it's easy to become rich with Bitcoin. Those who are bullish about Bitcoin being expensively used as digital cash believe it that Bitcoin has the potential to become the first truly global currency. In 2021, El Salvador became the first country in the world to make Bitcoin a legal tender. So how not to lose money on Bitcoin or why people losing money on Bitcoin? So if you sell when price of Bitcoin higher than you bought, then you will make money. If you sell uh, with a lower price than you bought, you will lose money. This is very simple, guys. So, for example, if you had invested in Bitcoin at the start of 
2020 first case and sold your Bitcoin on 31 December 2020, you would have made a 300% profit. In the second case, if you would buy Bitcoin in 2018 and sold them, uh, 31 December of 2018, you would have made 73% of loss. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. money. <laughs> Woo. Woo. So as you see, it's really simple. Everything depends on your strategy of when you are buying, when you are selling, when you lock up your period and how smart you are with investing. It's better to catch up train right now with only 2 million of Bitcoins are not mined yet than to be late on buying Bitcoin in one year when price will never come back to 40k. Plus, sometimes you can use bear market for buying Bitcoin. So just remember of uh, Bitcoin all-time high in 2021, but also remember about Bitcoin lowest low in 2001. So smart people with the strategies been waiting for this lowest low to buy Bitcoin with the price of $30,000. But eventually we know that in 2022 or 2023, uh, Bitcoin might not come back to this price anymore. I don't recommend you to buy Bitcoin on all your money. So so how did I get my first ever Bitcoin? Of course I had strategy and first $5,000 I had I invested in Bitcoin and another $5,000 I invested in Ethereum. Of course Bitcoin price was high that moment so I didn't want to buy full Bitcoin. So I used profit I made on Ethereum to reinvest in another altcoins, crypto projects or tokens. So I invested in other altcoins or tokens like Pop, Pancakes, Pop, for example. I used this strategy as passive income and staking to get more profit on tokens. And once I even locked up my profit with 100x profit, I reinvested half in different projects, again like in altcoins, and half I invested in Bitcoin. So month by month, I got more into Bitcoin. So my Bitcoin amount of money was growing. So that's how you can earn, not buy full Bitcoin, but earn time by time your full first Bitcoin. A lot of price analysis predict Bitcoin to grow up to $100,000 in more. So anyway, it's good to invest in Bitcoin and hold it for long term. Eventually, you can make money on it. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my video, I hope this video was informative for you, you got some new information from this video and I hope to see you in my next one.